line the what was for the dividends and things are working and that is why i want to ask our leaders hapa tafadhali let us focus senator nande unasema ati ni sijali watu wakinipigia kelele sasa mimi kelele inaweza kufanya mimi ni lose focus kweli i am a leader i am a man who focuses on one thing at a time one thing at a time mimi siku wangu na mambo mbili between 2018 and 2022 i was focused on making sure that william ruto becomes the president of kenya na nikalenga hapo na sikutoka hapo wananishika friday wakiduachilia mali narudi hapo wanayafugia pesa yangu wakifikiria nitafilisika narudi hapo magazeti wakanipigia kelele wakaniweka karikacha nini nini wakaniita majina social media mi narudi hapo mimi kama ningekuwa ni mtu ya kusikiza kelele ningekuwa nimetoroka kitambo hao watu walikuwa wamenipigia kelele siku tulikuwa tunaenda debate na mara karo unajua mimi najamaza tu najifanya mchinga oh hii mtu hawezi oh atanyoroshwa nini kufika pale nimenyorosha mama the next time nilimusikia alikuwa kwa wao kishogo because we are focused and let me say for the avoidance of doubt i have only one focus as regards gashagwa deputy president and no other i am focused in only one thing assisting president william ruto to succeed and nothing else hii ingine wengine wanafuata mambo ingine i'm not there mimi niko hapo hata mkipiga kelele gani mnajaribu to demoralize me juzi wanaenda wanapanga wanatoa pesa kuna watu wanaitwa info truck ati waseme deputy president amepewa e ati dioni kuvero mimi mimi ni chuba ya zamani niko pale hata wakijaribu nini unajua watu wanaletea maneno ati wanitoe kwa hiyo kazi ati dioni aanze kujibishana na watu ati nianze kutafuta ati wabunge ati kuwaita kujeni mnisaidi ni mimi am focused and i cannot lose focus and in this administration i have no other agenda my agenda is only one and none and no other to make sure that i assist president william ruto succeed in the economic transformation of this republic na mimi siwezi toka hapo those who wale those who want to succeed the president william ruto mwendele sisi we want him to succeed those who want to succeed him mutukubalie we allow him to succeed then you can succeed him si iko namna hiyo so we must allow him to succeed na mimi nauliza sasa nyinyi vijana william ruto amechaguliwa juzi mwaka moja he has 9 years to go you are talking about succeeding him Munataka kurithi mnataka eh, kukawa mzee akiwa hai Surely you people what is what is, you young people what is the problem President has just been elected Si ni mwaka moja Ati watu naanza kusema ati ni mimi ati huyu ndio ata succeed yet 2032 Kwanza it is disrespectful to the president Hiyo ni kukosa heshima kwa kiongozi sasa kiongozi amechaguliwa tu just last year ako hapa ndio ana settle down kupanga panga kazi wewe unaanza kusema ati mimi in 9 years in Tarithi ndani anakuambia utakuwa uhai how do you know Nine years a very long time number two, it is also very being very insensitive to the people of Kenya the people of Kenya today do not want to hear about positions and elections wanataka kusikia barabara itatengenezwa siku gani stima itaunganishwa lini si ndio tutapata maji lini that is the conversation i want to ask our leaders please especially in kenya kwanza please let's focus to msaidia president a succeed and if you have ambition and you want to succeed him which is okay and it is fair and there's no problem si mngoje kwanza achaguliwe tena 2027 then akichachaguliwa muanze kupanga vile mnaweza ridhi ye but for now surely is being very rude to the people of Kenya is being very insensitive to the people of Kenya to talk about succession 
let us talk about service delivery hiyo ndio kitu ya maana saa hii tumekubaliana na watu ya bomet ama nyinyi mnataka watu waongee mambo ya 2032 that is a topic that is uh, uh, should never be anywhere in any discussion let us focus tumsaidie rais afaulu mambo ya huko mbele wale mnataka kupanga muende mpange huko but for now mawaziri na mimi MPs let us all focus on assisting the president to succeed because he must succeed in the transformation of our economy and the transformation of the people of Kenya kwa hivyo nyinyi watu wa magazeti nyinyi muendelee kuandika tanimeambiwa juu nafikiri wiki hii maede taas wenu wamesanywa pahali at mupange the way you can create a debate to distract us from service delivery you are wasting your time sisi tumelenga pale na hakuna mtu anaweza kutoa hapo sisi tutakaa hapo na tunajua what we are doing and we are not just doing it because it's the right thing yes it's the right thing but it's also a constitutional duty for me ni diapa pale kasarani kumsaidia rais afanye kazi yake so sisi tutakaa hapo na hiyo ndio kazi ambaye itatusaidia kwa hivyo mimi ningetaka niseme watu ya Bomet asanteni sana hao mawaziri wetu they are good people tutakaa tete chini hii maneno ya stima huyu Davis mlikuwa mnampigia kelele pale Sotik it's a very hard working cabinet minister rudia rudia